Hey, hey, in the immortal words of John Travolta in the movie Face Off, ain't it cool? <laughs> oh man, this is such good stuff. Um, of course, I'm talking about the markets. I'm talking about the fact that we are headed into a recession. A lot of people think I'm insane for my exuberance, but um, here we go. You know, the, the, <clears throat> the uh, Fed cut rates down to zero and, uh, 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 and uh, um, uh, promised another $700 billion uh, into uh, to asset purchases. That was in addition to $1.5 trillion they had already uh, promised, which brings the total to $2.2 trillion that last week they obligated to asset purchases. And uh, the market still opened 1,000 points down and then almost instantly dropped to 2,500 points. I'm talking about the Dow now. Uh, the S&P, within minutes of opening, triggered the, uh, uh, triggered the 7% uh, breaker switch and stopped, uh, uh, stopped trading for a few minutes. I think it's 15 minutes the first time. Um, oh, damn it. Okay, there we go. My internet's back. Basically, what I'm trying to say to you is that Basically, what I'm trying to say to you is that this is an extraordinarily exciting time for entrepreneurs. Because look, most entrepreneurs, most business owners are going to fall out. They're going to fail. They're going to go away. That's just the way it is. But the people in the marketing business like me and bricks and mortar businesses that are out there who actually have... God damn it. Why do I keep getting low internet connection? Hold on, guys. See if that'll help. Okay, that should fix it. Um, I do live in a rural area and I have, you know, moose and squirrel internet connection service. So uh, sometimes it's, it, uh, it gets screwed up. Anyway, listen, here's the great news. Uh, a lot of competition, a lot of bricks and mortar business competition is going to fall out. Which means that the businesses that are left are going to be left to pick up the rest of the existing business out there. Now, that means that they're, they're going to have to find that business. They're going to have to capture that business. They're going to have to get better at selling their services, their product and services. Um, this is really exciting. It's really exciting for them because if they can get better, then each business is going to make a lot more money. And then they're going to be in a position when the economy turns and starts going back up, like it always does. They're going to be able to capture even a greater part of that of of the market of their marketplace. It's very exciting. It's very exciting for people in the marketing business, like I am. In the market, we, we work with other businesses, consult, and help them uh, uh, help them do their thing. Because those businesses that are sharp enough to understand that they need to spend money on marketing, that they need to make investments in marketing assets so that they can leverage, stay in business now, even grow now through the recession, and then really leverage massive growth after the recession. You'd be surprised how many business owners out there understand that. They just haven't been motivated to do it because, eh, everything's going good, I'm just coasting. But now they're not gonna wanna coast anymore. Now they're gonna wanna jam. Hey, Rick, hey, Nicole. Now they're gonna wanna get after it. So that's really exciting because there's, uh, I, I mean, hell, a, a very well-known, when, when I made a video similar to this a couple of days ago, a very well-known, well-respected copywriter commented that, his, that he made nine times, his income in 2000, 2007 to 2008 was nine times his income of the previous five years combined, okay? So people in the marketing services business are in a wonderful position to make a ton of money. People in the bricks and mortar business, if they play their cards right, are in a wonderful position to expand their business. My first real money that I ever made was during the 2007-2008 crisis, right in the middle of it, right in the midst of the collapse. I opened a business, had $1,000 cash. My wife didn't work. She was pregnant with our third child. It was a month before Christmas and I have, uh, uh, oh, and I wrote a million dollars in work in 16 months. Hey, Jen, I wrote a million dollars of work in just uh, uh, a business in 16 months. This is an extraordinary opportunity for people who are willing to do the work. This is not the lazy man's time. This is not the time you're going to be able just to hang your, sh hang your shingle out and coast. 
This is a uh, uh, this is the time that we're going to be able to, we're going to have an opportunity to make a ton of money if you're willing to do the work. Now, I want to help, right? I want to help you do it. I want to help, and I'm and I'm right now. I'm honestly I'm talking primarily to bricks and mortar businesses. Um, frankly, I love all my coaches out there, but there's too many of y'all, and most of y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about anyway. Um, so I'm talking about bricks and mortar business. What I have to, what I'm talking about will work for internet businesses, especially internet product businesses where you're selling a a hard product. Um, it'll work for info businesses too, but you know, my focus is on, uh, you know, ma and pa who own a business that's, uh, you know, that's in an area and actually doing business and actually ship stuff and, or, or deliver stuff, hard goods or deliver services or whatever. I mean, like real bricks and mortar businesses that have, you know, offices and copy machines and vehicles and, and stuff like that. Those are the people who I'm really aiming this at. Um, but everybody else, it's available. It'll be there. Right now, I'm working on putting together a website, a membership website. No cost. It's not going to be any money involved. And we're going to be doing training and working on how to get through the recession and how to position yourself for massive growth after recession, after the recession. Now remember, the first bit of money I ever made was in the 2007-2008 recession. That's where, I, I mean, this is, you know, you got all, you got a bunch of kids out there who are in their 20s and 30s and have, you know, 12 years ago they were in fucking high school when the last recession hit. I was in the midst of it. I actually owned a business. I was in the midst of it and I made a lot of money. A lot of other people I know were in the midst of it, got through it, went through it, made a lot of money during it, made even more money afterwards, right? So, so this is what I'm saying. We're going to open up a membership site. It's going to be completely free. We're going to post training. We're going to have a commentary, question and answer, et cetera, so that people can actually uh, have the tools necessary. Look, this is a very exciting time, but it is a time when you're going to have to have the right tools. Now, I could sell you those tools or I could give them to you and, and then a certain percentage of you are going to hire me to do some work for you. By the way, that's my selfish motivation behind it because, well, why am I going to give everything away for free? Am I going to hold anything back? No, I'm not going to hold anything back. I'm going to give it all to you. The idea is that there's a certain percentage of you who are going to want to uh, do business with me, uh, you know, hire me to do copywriting, hire me to do consulting, et cetera, et cetera. Looks like I'm making somebody mad. Oh, well, too bad. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, we're going to, I'm putting together the, the, uh, the membership site. We're going to, uh, we're going to make it free for everybody who wants to join. It's just going to be good, solid information that anybody who's interested can, uh, uh, can hop on and can get the tools necessary to survive and thrive in this recession and then position themselves for massive, massive growth, growth after the recession. Think about this. Businesses, the value of businesses, the value of real estate, the value of assets is going to fall off. It's going to drop massively. That means you can acquire those assets. Vendors are going to be dying to do business. So you're going to be able to negotiate great prices and fantastic terms. See, you're, you're thinking, oh my God, how am I going to do business? How are you going to do business? How are you not going to make a lot of money? If you know how to market and sell your sale, uh, uh, if you know how to market your business and sell your product or service, you can't help but make a lot of money because everybody you work with is going to be, uh, you're going to be able to get great terms. You're going to be able to get great pricing. Um, there's going to be less options for the, for the end consumer because your competition is going to be going out of business. They're going to be falling away. And, uh, and then not only that, when they are falling away, you're going to have an opportunity to come in and snag those companies up for nothing. I, I mean, may, sometimes for nothing, sometimes just give them a call and say, look, you're, you know, you're going out of business. And, and this is not, I've had companies do this. I've had people give me businesses, right? You're going out of business. Let me take over your, you know, let me take over what you have. I'll make good on your lease. I'll make good on your copier lease and I'll make good on, uh, you know, on your vehicle uh, leases. And boom, you have all their customers now. You grow, uh, you know, you have all their customers, you have all their service people, you have well, whatever. I mean, it's just, it's such a great time. And people are freaking out so bad. And there's no reason to freak out. So we're going to get this set up. I'll let everybody know about it. Um, send me a, a message in the, uh, what do you call it, the, the private message. If you want me to private message you when it's up and running and let you know about it. Otherwise, just keep an eye out and we'll get it posted here. Um, also, 
I would be remiss if I didn't if I didn't make uh, point out that in uh, uh, in May in Poland, uh, Trevor Crook, who has helped uh, info marketers, consultants, bricks and mortar businesses from literally one end of the world to the other, he's putting on an amazing seminar. I'm honored that he has asked me to speak there. Uh, you'll have uh, you, you'll, ha- you'll I mean, there's just amazing people going to be there. The how Hal- Bon Halbert. Uh, Matt Fury, um, I think John Carlton's going to be there. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, it's just, I mean, these guys are guys who know what they're doing. They've been around a long time. They've seen recessions come. They know how to generate business and generate money in recessions. So uh, I'm going to post a link in the comments. Make sure that you get out there. Uh, you know, make sure you go over there. You take a look. Look, the corona. Uh, yeah, what am I going to do? It, don't worry about it. If, 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 you, if you can't make it... You know, check out, there's a guarantee if you can't make it or if travels, there's a travel problem, whatever, because of the coronavirus, Trevor's going to take care of you. He's, he's as honest as the day is long. He's not going to screw anybody. So take a look at, uh, take a look at the site and uh, make a point of getting out. Make a point of getting out there, man, because listen, these are guys who know what they're doing. Get out there. Keep an eye out for this, uh, uh, for my new membership website um, where we're going to help you get through the, uh, the recession and make a ton of money doing it and, uh, uh, you know, Let's do it. Let's all get busy. Let's all get hustling and let's all make a lot of money. It is time to make a lot of money. Ain't it cool?